But now that we're in, this is so cool, you guys. I kind of want to cry. It is so cool in here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JC and today we are doing another batch photo shoot for Instagram. So if you guys have been following me, you know that I love to take photos. I love to post them on Instagram and create like art. However, I don't like to do that regularly. I like to do it all in one day and then space out all of the photos for the next couple of months because that's just easier. But today we are doing a fun version because we actually booked a photography studio. <laughs> I don't even know if it's like a photography studio. It's an anything studio. So it's called FD Studios here in downtown LA. People use it for workout videos, music videos, photography, anything you can imagine. You just rent out the space and the room and use it to your liking for legal things, of course. And they have so many rooms to choose from. There's one with a pink striped wall. There's one with a backdrop of all books. There are cool windows and stairs. There are a lot of other interesting props. If you guys are familiar with the whole scandal that happened in the influencer world, where it was revealed that people were faking going on a private jet and it was really this movie studio, that's this place. <laughs> So we are not renting the private jet room, nor are we renting their other famous room, which is the rain room. We are instead doing just a normal photography room. So I'll get into a little bit more of the details about how I book this room, how I prepare, and then we'll take you to the studios. So if you like videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along for other future adventures. But let me tell you a little bit more about the studio. So this inspiration came about how I find out about everything these days, <laughs> which is TikTok. I saw a TikTok where it was like, do you live in downtown LA? check out these studios, book it with your friends and have an all day photo shoot. And I was like, I'm already sold. <laughs> they have a ton of rooms to choose from. And again, you kind of have to just base it on what you're looking for. So again, with my Instagram, I am creating an aesthetic that is a lot of green tones and brown tones. So I really wanted my room to reflect that. So while I was visually attracted to like some of the pink and bright rooms, it didn't work with my Instagram feed. So I went with room Hill 4. What I liked about it was that it almost looks like three different sets all in one room. So I could see a lot of variety there. So they had a bright neon wall for like cool nighttime nightclub feel. They had this foresty, leafy, planty kind of background, which I thought was interesting. They also had a cool window with some stairs for like a third scene. And then guys, ugh, I'm such a simple, simple creature. They had a Vespa. It comes with a Vespa. So I get to take photos on a Vespa. How many times can I say Vespa? So I'm really excited about that room, but also just because of the colors, I can really match it and tailor it to my aesthetic. If I am paying money for a four hour photo shoot, basically, I want to make sure I'm prepared, that I have everything that I need, that I get my inspiration. So step number one was I did a lot of browsing on Pinterest. That way I could find inspiration in terms of poses that I want, looks or angles that I'm looking for, and different kind of hairstyles and outfits that I can do. I also did some shopping, some very light shopping in the sense of props. And so what I'm using for props today is more so jewelry and hair, supplies, <laughs> hair accessories, um, hair accessories. So I also woke up early today to plan some outfits. So again, I wanted to tailor this to what I knew the background was going to be at the studio, see what kind of vibes I wanted, and also see what kind of outfits I maybe wanted to highlight that I haven't shown on my Instagram in a while. Then I packed a suitcase. In my suitcase was all of these outfits that I planned. And then also make sure to bring different kind of bras, because if you're bringing a variety of tops and dresses, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the right undergarments to make it look good. After that, I got ready in terms of my hair and makeup. So with my makeup, I went very heavy on my base. I look like a cake face in real life right now, but I know that that translates better into photography because that way the light will bounce off nicely. You won't see all my imperfections. So I'm about to like go out in the world and I just look like a cake face, but on photography, it'll look good. 
I'd also like to point out that with my makeup, I started with a very, very neutral base because it's easier to start neutral, take some photos and then build it up based on the photos. So I'll show you a little bit more of that later. Lastly, I also took off my nail polish, which was like a dark purple because that's not gonna go with all of my outfits. So just having a nice clean base for my nails so that way we're ready to go. So now we're beautiful, we're packed. The last thing that I did before leaving my apartment was I cleaned two SD cards because I'm gonna be taking thousands of photos today, literally thousands. So I wanna make sure I have enough storage space. I wanted to make sure my batteries were charged and then I'm bringing my spare battery and charger in the event that I go through two chargers, two chargers, two batteries, you guys get it. And of course, where would I be without my handy dandy camera clicker? This is an absolute must if you're doing a photo shoot of yourself. It's non-negotiable. So now we're gonna head out to the studio. So let me take you guys there. All right, we have arrived at our studio and not gonna lie, I struggled a little bit to get in, mainly because the map that they sent me sucked. They didn't tell me like the cross street, so I couldn't figure out where they meant to park. And then I couldn't figure out where the freaking entrance was. So I was literally knocking on like the freight elevator door because that's what the map said is the entrance. Like that's not my fault, that's on them. But now that we're in, this is so cool, you guys. I kind of want to cry. It is so cool in here. I am absolutely out of my league being in here. When I checked in, the secretary asked me if I wanted a trigger. And I was like, what do you mean by a trigger? And she's like, a trigger, like, for the strobe lights? And I was like, oh, I don't think so. She goes, so you're going to use daylight? And I said, yes. And she said, OK. She wasn't that rude. I don't know why I'm giving her that voice. Basically, I have no idea what I'm doing in here. And this place is huge. So let me show you around. So as soon as you walk in, it's the cool little neon room. And I didn't realize it'd be closed off like this. But look how cool this looks. And you can't really tell, but it's got like a plant wall. But the neon lights are so cool. Hey, those look like Henry from my thrifting haul. I have a little flamingo just like that. So then you walk out of the studio. So here's the entrance, here's the other entrance. Look how ginormous this studio is. So over here we have our little vanity to get ready. I already turned the lights on. This is super cool. It's a little dressing room. So that way if you have other people here, you have a private space to dress. It also came with a clothing rack and hangers as well as a steamer, which is awesome because I actually brought a hanger. So that's gonna be super helpful. Over here, we have backdrops that I can descend from the ceiling. So I'm gonna do something with those, of course. Here are those stairs I was talking about and I love all the light that comes in through this window. We'll get a lot of good pics right here. Full length mirror, hi, hi. As well as some cool chairs. I like the variety of chairs because it just changes up your photos. Don't look over there yet, don't look over there. Those are the giant strobe lights I apparently need a trigger for. It comes with a little director's chair and a little FD Studios director's box. I love that. I also like that they put a window. So this is inside of there is the neon light room. But I like that they put a window on the outside because that creates another scene. Now for the coup de grace. Oh my god, it's the Vespa! I'm so excited! Um, it's blue, it's beautiful, and then there's this beautiful foliage wall as well as another plant that we'll get to move around. That'll be cool. Some interesting rugs. This is just a chair and a couch. Nothing too crazy there. And then we have our final set. So in another corner, this is the Tuscan jungle area. It's got some cool plants, this really nice brown orangey color, which is what attracted me to it because these are kind of the colors of my Instagram. Little wall divider, a cool TV. I wasn't expecting this, but that's going to be fun, as well as some plants. And then if we take a look outside, it's Los Angeles. Hi, LA. So cool. All right, so let's talk cash money, which is what everybody really wants to know. How much is a professional studio cost to rent? For this studio, which mind you is one of the larger ones of the Hill family, I paid $200 for four hours. So about $50 an hour. That is a lot for four hours. That is a lot of money. And I'm not making money off of my Instagram right now. So it's kind of like, JC, why are you doing this? For fun, but also because I have friends. So Jenny will be joining me later. We're gonna split the cost and she's gonna be taking photos for her own Instagram. 
And that way, if you get more friends to pitch in and use this giant space together, the less money it's going to cost. So I'm really only paying $100 for the four hours. And to me, that is so worth it. I am geeking out right now. I think this is so fun. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, I've talked about how with Instagram, I'm not posting on my feed like it's my everyday. I'm using my feed more as my art. I'm really enjoying coming up with cool angles, cool props, interesting ideas to keep it fresh, and then posting it over a long period of time. If you wanna follow me, which by the way, you should, know that I use more of my stories to kind of show my day-to-day -day life. So like, I got coffee, I went out to lunch. But I use my feed to just show my creativity, and I encourage you to do the same, that if Instagram makes you feel like creative creatively invigorated, then pay $100 and rent out a studio. So with that being said, let me show you some of the props that I brought. So with four hours of studio time, I really wanted to make sure I was over prepared so that way I could get the most out of my money by getting so freaking many photos. You guys have no idea how many photos I'm gonna take. I brought a ton of clothes and I'm not gonna walk you through every outfit. How boring would that be? But I will tell you some other helpful items that I brought just in case. Number one is makeup wipes. With this, I try to be as versatile as possible with my looks, so it doesn't look like I took them all on the same day. So makeup wipes will help to kind of like remove makeup, start over, do a different eye look, that sort of thing. I brought a dryer sheet, and let me tell you why, ladies and gentlemen. When you are dressing and undressing a ton, you get deodorant stains on your clothes. You can't photograph with deodorant stains. We're not amateurs here. Tyra Banks taught us better than that a dryer sheet, rub it on there, get rid of the deodorant stain. Finally, I just brought a ton of different hair accessories. So I have headbands here. I got a little scrunchy bow here that'll be cute. And I got some cute little necklaces as well as some earrings, which maybe we'll showcase. Bunch of like knuckle rings, some earrings, and some fake nails. So let's get started. I'm just too excited. I'm too excited that I keep blabbering, but I wanna get to shooting. I forgot two things that I brought. I wanted to do this cute like banana phone kind of kind of photo and then I put the bananas in my backpack and they're so freaking bruised now that I guess I could photoshop them out but like that was stupid of me and then I wanted to do this one photo where she's like holding an orange up to her eye and it's supposed to be cute for like spring or summer so I bought an orange I cut it in half this morning so I could do that you guys I bought a freaking blood orange how morbid might be kind of on brand with my colors, but a blood orange, why would I do that? So I brought those, but not sure if I'm gonna actually use them, to be determined. Look who joined us. Yay, Jenny's in a wig right now. Yeah. So <laughs> Jenny is here doing some photos for her cosplay. So Jenny, where can they follow you? You can find me at Magic Bean Chen so, on Instagram. So go give Jenny a follow on Instagram too. There's also my brother. He's doing homework right now. Howdy. He's not taking photos for his Instagram. So we're just gonna play and have fun and keep taking our photos. Yeah. All right, guys, it is a few days after our FD Studios adventure, and my goodness, were we frazzled. I barely got any footage in there because those four hours went by so quick, and it's all my fault. So the whole first hour, I was just farting around. I was filming for you guys. I was like setting up my makeup on the vanity, looking at all my outfits, like which order should I do it in? Let me, let me make everything pretty. And then before you know it, like an hour had passed. And then I was like, oh, I should, I should get to, to shooting some photos here. But then Jenny and my brother showed up. I had to go collect them. I was on the phone with them the whole time, telling them where to park. I had to help Jenny with like her camera. And I just wasted like an hour and a half before ever actually filming. It was taking me forever. And I think that's because I'm still learning like my camera settings, things like that. I also wanted to make sure I got every single scene you know, use of the whole studio while I was there. And so bouncing around and switching off with Jenny kind of got a little bit frazzling. And just to be totally transparent with you guys, because I want to make sure that I'm being honest with you, 
I was actually getting very hung up on my body image during the photos. So I remember I put on this one dress at this one point and I was taking these photos and I just kept staring at the photos on my camera thinking, why do I look so chubby? Like, why do I look so heavy? That, that doesn't even look like me. And then I'd change outfits. I'd put on like jeans and a shirt, like, okay, maybe this one will be better. And then I would sit on a chair and I'd be like, why does my stomach have so many rolls? Why do I look so heavy? Why do I look so chubby? Like, this isn't me. And so I was spending a lot of time over analyzing my body and being really, really mean to myself. And I kind of didn't really notice it until my brother told me to stop. So there was at one point where he's like, how's it going over there? And I was like, I look so heavy, I look so fat. And he goes, stop, stop it, you're beautiful, stop it, you know? And that's when I kind of realized like, oh, I wasn't even doing it in a joking way anymore. I was straight up being mean to myself. And it's something that I'm working on. It's something that I continue to struggle with in terms of like my insecurities that that's immediately where my eye goes to when nobody else would notice those things, you know, but I'm human, it happens. So luckily my brother there was there to kind of snap me out of it. And then I was like, you're right. I just need to go for quantity here, not quality. Cause I was spending so much time trying to find the perfect photo that I really just needed to be clicking away to get the right photo. And of course that's what ended up happening. I just took so many more photos. I was click, click, clicking away. And then you find that photo where all you are is at a different angle and you look so much thinner, I guess, in a sense of a word, that that's the angle I'm looking for. I look so much better in that photo. That's the one I'm going with. So it was very illuminating in that sense that I need to work on some more internal issues there. But I think overall, oh my gosh, it was fun, you guys. It was so fun to just rent out a photo studio and get your creative juices flowing. I think some of my favorite photos were just on that Vespa. I spent like a half hour on that Vespa, just having a good old time. I took the same photo about a hundred different times but it was still just so much fun to sit on it and be a little ham I really liked their leaf wall you're gonna see a lot of this leaf wall on my Instagram in the background because I took so many photos there because I love the way it made like my eyes pop I love the natural foliage that it gave me as well as the orange room that orange color is just so my aesthetic and so the color combinations that I'm looking for right now that I loved how it was making the green colors that I usually wear pop and I just love that it kind of breaks up the monotony of my Instagram feed with this bright orange wall. So now a downside to doing this whole photo studio thing is I got 30 usable Instagram photos 30 and that's excellent that's months and months worth however it is with the same like three backgrounds which are that orange wall that green wall and then those beautiful windows so because of that you're you would know that it's just from the same photo shoot over and over again i'm actually going to take some more photos today of just like close-up beauty shots with those props that i bought to kind of break up those thematic elements of those photos. So I'm gonna do the whole nails thing. I'm gonna do those earrings that I bought, the hair barrettes, all of that. I'm not gonna film it. You guys can go follow me on Instagram if you wanna see that. But that way I can just kinda like break up the monotony of those repeating items. So something to keep in mind if you do do a photo studio like this is that it's gonna be kinda obvious. <laughs> but that's okay, you know, it's my Instagram, I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. So if you guys are interested in renting from FD Studios, I would highly recommend it. Jenny and I were already like, we gotta do this again because we didn't get enough time, we were so frazzled, we should plan out a little bit better. And they have so many other cool studios and rooms to choose from. So I thought it was pretty affordable. I think we just kinda failed at our own time management. But again, split it with friends, make sure you go in with the plan and get the most out of your time there and you will have some beautiful photos to show for it and this was just so fun to do I, I just felt creative and I felt happy you know minus the whole body stuff you know that, that stuff happens but I thank you guys so so much for watching I will leave some links below of some other videos that I've done where I do these kind of like bulk photo shoots in case you're interested in those but I thank you so so much for watching remember to like and subscribe so you can join on other weird future activities or adventures that I'm doing out here in LA I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodles! So this idea came about, um, <coughs> what the hell? I can't die, I already paid for the room.